Hi, it's May with the Tuesday Tech Tip. This is part two of working with Finder and I'm going to show you how to boost the saturation of your photos. I'm going to open iPhoto. I'm going to go to the photo library so that I see all my photos in thumbnail view. I'm going to select the one I want to work with and drag it out to my desktop. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to open the photo in iPhoto. I want to open it in preview. When I double click, you'll see right now I'm in Finder, but when I double click on this photo, you'll see that I'm now in preview. So here's my photo. I'm going to click on tools. I'm going to click on adjust color. And now this little trick that I'm going to show you is a photographer's trick to just boost the saturation of your photograph a little bit. If you will watch the blue doors and the red geraniums here, I'm going to take it to the extreme. I'm going to boost it all the way up where nothing looks real anymore, but you can see that the blue is seriously blue and the reds are seriously red. If I take it all the way down, you can see that I lose all my color altogether, but it's not truly a black and white. This is not a way to make a black and white photo, but it is a way to make a totally desaturated photo. If I want to go back to where I was, I just click reset all. This time I'm just going to take the slider and I'm just going to boost it a tiny bit. And this just makes the photo have a little more punch and I am going to duplicate this photo that's already on my desktop and this time I'm going to call it color and close that and close that and now I have the original photo on my desktop and I have the one that I made. I'm going to show one more example just of a photograph with a little more subtlety and again I'm going to open tools, adjust color and Again, totally desaturating, totally saturating, but what we want to do is just boost the pink a little bit just to give the color, just to give it a little more punch. And again, I will duplicate this so that I keep both files. Um, and I'll call this Rose and close that down. And now I want to. Um, I could have just renamed the photographs on my desktop, but I usually just keep everything until I'm done. So I'm going to take these two that I altered, rows and color. I'm going to select them both by just running my arrow through the two of them while um, the mouse is pressed. And I'm going to drag these two photos into iPhoto. They will both go in there and show up right next to the photos that they are. Now here is Let's see, let's show info so we can see the colors. So I'm sorry, so we can see the names. If we do here, you can see that this is the original. Let me take that away because it's not big enough. So this is the original photo, and here is the boosted one. So you can see that it really does just have a little more punch to it, and it looks really nice. If I go back to photos, let me see if I can find uh, the rose. Um, mom, 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 mom. Let's see, here we go. I think we're talking about right here. So there you can see there's the original picture and there is just with a little bit of boost, just gives it a little more punch. So that is working with preview part two, adjusting the saturation of your photograph. And I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for stopping by.